What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test coffee making gadgets for your camping. I have seven different kinds of camping coffee makers, let's see which one that works the best. Also if you're interested in any of those products I'll put a link in the description. First of all of course let's fire this camping stove up and boil some water. This is my favorite camping stove, it's on fire, then we're gonna plug this in. This is the fastest way to boil water. For the first coffee maker, let's open this up. This is actually like a cup at the same time. A lot of different attachments. And right here the instruction, six steps instruction. And on the bottom right here it's netted, so that way none of the coffee pieces goes inside of your coffee. So let's see how to use it. I'm pretty sure we put coffee in here first. Then we're going to put boiled water in there. Nice. Then we're going to put this part in like this and wait four minutes like that, wait till the coffee get brewed inside there. And then after four minutes what we're supposed to do is push it all the way in. Boom. And as you can see all the grounded coffee beans are stained to the bottom. And then if you want to keep your coffee warmer, put the sleeve back in and the bottom out here. Boom. Beautiful. Pop this open and now we can drink coffee out of it. And of course, if you don't like sipping coffee through this little hole, you can just open it up and drink coffee like this. Beautiful, great design, love this coffee maker. Okay, let's see what we got here for the next coffee maker gadget. Whoa, this one is pretty big one. It even comes with a little spoon and everything. And right here is instructions. Okay, to put it all together, we got a piece of filter put inside here. Then we're going to put it together like that. And I'm pretty sure it goes on top of here on a cup. Then we got here measuring spoon, boom. Put it inside of here. Or if you don't want to use measuring spoon, you can use that and pour on top of it like that. Then it says we need to shake it up so the coffee grinds are getting leveled. And then we're going to put hot boiled water inside there. I wonder how much. Right here it actually tells you how many cups you can make, I guess. Then it says I need to stir it for 10 seconds. Has it been 10 seconds? That's pretty crazy instruction. And finally, after all that, we're going to press it. Oh my gosh. It's kind of hard. Woo. That's awesome. Boom, look at this coffee. I cannot wait to try it. A little bit too big compared to this one because it's like stays in few pieces and this one is all one. But also this is air presser, so it's like espresso. And this one pretty much same but more like regular coffee. Okay, let's test it and see what it tastes like. Air presser coffee, not espresso, air presser. Very delicious, I like it. I don't know what it does, but that second gadget that I put to the test, it's aerated the water and the coffee, so that makes the coffee taste much, much better. For the next coffee maker gadgets, all-in-one pour-over coffee maker. Let's see what it's all about. Open this up, whoa, that's big. So it's pretty much, oh nice, it comes with a grinder, beautiful. And it comes with a cup. So it's all in one. That's amazing. So that way you can really get the fresh, fresh coffee. Okay, that's actually exciting. So let's see how it works. Put this part in here. Put the grinder on top of it. Screw it on. Then we're going to put coffee in here and grind it up. What we're going to do is pour a bunch of coffee in there. Coffee beans. And then we're going to grind it up, I guess. Oh wow, it looks really good. And of course, you know, when you go on your own coffee, it makes it really, really fresh. Oh, uh, maybe right here you can adjust the size, how fine you're going to grind it. Pretty sure that's what it is for. Oh yeah, that's definitely a lot of coffee we grind up inside there. Okay, let's do a little bit more. 
Look how well it's going to. Now we can open this up. That's what I thought. If you adjust this part, you can adjust how fine you want to grind your coffee. And of course, we're going to add boiled water inside there. Kind of have to watch it not to overfill it. You see it's slowly filling up. I think we can add a little bit more. I guess it will be perfect to take it out and put it in here once you're happy. And boom, this is, works like a cup. Now you can drink out of it. And of course you don't have to grind your own coffee. You can just use this and put already grinded coffee inside here and just put hot water and boom, good to go. But this gadget is perfect for those people who love to drink non-grinded coffee, who love to grind the coffee themselves. That way they can get the freshest coffee. For the next gadget right here we got my Presto. Let's see what this thing is all about. Oh wow, what is that? A little pump right here? Interesting. That's very unique. Okay, there you go. Oh wow, no way. This is like a cure cup. Beautiful. And I think this part is gonna go up here. Maybe, maybe not. First of all, let's open this up and put some coffee. Then it's gonna go inside here. And then this gonna go back on here. Wow, it actually says how many ounces you wanna add. This is at least 10 ounces in here. And then it's gonna go on the cup. Next we will add boiled water. 10 ounces is good. We're going to put this part in, the pump. And then we're just gonna pop it, I guess. You just gotta press it really hard. I can actually hear it's pumping. Now all the water is in. Whoa, I bet it's going to taste like, just like air presser. For some reason, it's so much softer. Every time I use pressure to pour the water out, it tastes so much softer. I don't know why it tastes like this, but it's awesome. Thumbs up for me for this gadget, and it's definitely a very unique one for sure. It has a pump on top of it. Who thought of that? Next coffee gadget is very simple. Let's open it up. Boom. It's a little baggy with the plastic. You put it in, then you put as much coffee as you like, and then we're going to put boiled water inside there. And boom, it's like a tea bag, except it's a for the coffee. You can also, I bet, use it for tea, just like that. Very simple but useful gadget, that's for sure. For the next gadget, we got here espresso maker. Boom, it looks like a regular pot. But it's actually very unique the way you make your coffee. Let me show you. First of all, you put your water actually inside here. But when you add on water, cold water don't have to be anything. This is maximum because if you're gonna overfill it, it's gonna spill up anyway. Then we're going to put this part in here. And they say do not pack the coffee. That's plenty right here. And then we're going to put this back on. Then we will need a burner. And now we wait and see what happens. And look what happens. It's starting to pump out from here. Whoa! It's spinning out now too much. That's awesome. My other camping stove is out of gas, so I had to use one of these. Crazy, isn't it? Have you seen anything like that? Very unique. Love this gadget. And for the last gadget, I got here Camping Espresso Machine, or whatever you want to call it. Open this up, put boiled water inside there, boom. Then we're going to close this up like this. Then we're going to remove cup from here. Probably should have done this first, but it don't matter. Then it comes with this layer measuring cup, and then we're going to put coffee in here. Then we're going to put it back in here and screw it on. Okay, and then we're going to use this pump to get coffee from there. Whoa, look at this coffee. It's forming up pretty good. That's beautiful. Remember, it's only an espresso machine, so it's not gonna make you a lot of coffee, but it's gonna make you a really, really strong coffee. 
very interesting and unique design that's for sure well guys once again huge thumbs up from this espresso maker it's very compact and very unique beautiful design well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite thank you for watching and i'll see you next time